Hello again and welcome back to the Fatfish Guitar Studio. I'm Dave and in this video I want to talk a bit about guitar picks. Um, I have quite a few conversations this week about guitar picks which is actually hardly surprising because as well as being a guitar teacher I also have a, a business making and selling guitar picks. But something that comes up quite often particularly with people who aren't used to the whole like boutique pick market is the thickness of these picks. You know this is one I'm playing here this is a, one of my standard models it's about three and a half millimeters thick which is you know pretty run-of-the-mill for, for me and that's fairly standard sort of thickness in boutique picks although they do you do get an awful lot thicker and the question that you know I get asked is you know you can go to a guitar store countless top display loads and loads of picks but generally they're about a millimeter maybe even less maybe a little bit more but you know they're, they're around the one millimeter sort of ballpark as opposed to like you know three or four millimeters with something like this or, or thicker, you know, I make picks up to 12 millimeters in, in some cases. So, you know, why would you want such a thick pick? A few years ago, I started experimenting with different picks, you know, different materials, different thicknesses, shapes and sizes, all, all that sort of stuff. And I found that some picks worked better for me than others, but I couldn't really understand what it was, what were the factors that made some picks appeal more than others. And a couple of years ago, I did an interview with John Tron Davidson from the Heavy Repping Plectrum blog. I'll put a link in the information section down there if you want to go and check that out. And we're talking and John explained and kind of gave me a bit of a light bulb moment as to why it was that certain picks worked better than others. And I realized it was about the responsiveness, how the pick interacts with the strings. There's loads of other factors at play, but the, the one that, and it really applies to like thick picks. And he kind of gave the analogy as it's a bit like a playing with a compressor almost. If you like, I've got a pick down here. This is a just a standard Planet Waves, Waves pick, celluloid pick, medium. Now I don't have to put a lot of pressure on that to make it flex, to make it bend. Now that, you know, a few years ago, that was what a pick felt like to me. I would just play with that and that's, you know, that's what it was. Whereas a pick like this, this Fatfish standard, no flex at all, it's a nice thick solid pick. And the way John explained this is it's like playing with a compressor. If you're playing with a thin pick that flexes and bends, as you're digging in, you're you know you're trying to be a good guitar player, you're trying to use picking dynamics, you know, sometimes you play playing a bit harder, sometimes you're playing a bit softer, you know, to, to have a nice dynamic sort of range in your picking. But if you're playing with a pick that bends, as you're digging in harder part of your picking energy is actually going to deforming the pick and bending the pick rather than transferring the energy from the pick into the strings. So the amount of, like, if you like, the increase in effort in your picking versus the, the increase in energy going into the strings, it's not a, a one for one to one ratio. The more power you put in, the more power you, you, you kind of lose as well. So, Something like a thick pick gives you much better picking dynamics because it doesn't bend. If I want to do something, you know, I'm playing soft and really digging in. Now that's a really nice playing experience for me because as I'm st as I was building up the, the the picking pressure there picking harder all of the energy i was putting in to the pick was going into the strings i was getting a nice consistent uh, playing experience and because the pick's not bending at the tip it's always in the same place relative to my finger and thumb it's not moving and flapping around so thick picks that's one of the big advantages it's the fact that it allows you to have better picking dynamics and the pick just kind of it it holds its shape better but what about other materials so here's a, a pick. I played this for this type of pick for a very long, long time. This is a, an Ultex Jazz XL from Dunlop. This is about 1.14 millimeter, and it's got a tiny amount of flex on it. And I realise now, in hindsight, that's why I like this pick because it doesn't bend. When I, I like using picking dynamics, I like you know sometimes playing soft, sometimes playing hard, and having you know being able to play with a little bit of gain. And as, the, as you build up you from a, a nice subtle sound. You know, the amount of 
uh, energy that I'm putting into picking pushes the amp a little bit more and gives me a little bit more drive because I've got because of the way I've got the, the the gain set and it's just so much more responsive with a pick that doesn't bend so back to the question why thick picks if it's all about being able to have picking dynamics why not just use something like an ultem pick or a really thick um, sturdy delrin or carbon fiber something like that what is it about thick picks well it's not just the the fact that it doesn't bend it's the way it sits in your hand it just feels much more comfortable it, it's, it's strange we're only talking about like a couple of millimeters but the when you grip a thicker pick it just feels a little bit different in your hand and this is another thing that I touched on when I was talking to John uh, was about a good luthier will spend so long when he's building a guitar getting the fret, frets right you know a good luthier will spend a day or more putting the frets in filing them dressing them polishing them getting the ends properly rounded over because that's your interface with the guitar that's got how you interact with the guitar it needs to be smooth it needs to be comfortable it won't make you a better guitar player but it'll certainly make your experience more pleasurable and you'll find it more comfortable and it'll feel easier to do things that um, say you, it won't allow you to do things you wouldn't otherwise do but what you can do it will feel easier so pay as much attention to your picking hand as you do to your fretting hand rather than just buying a 50p piece of plastic from the uh, from the countertop display at a, at a guitar store think about how it feels in your hand and something a little bit thicker now the first time you pick this up it might feel a bit odd it's like you know having a, a different pair of shoes on or something like that you know I've got a lovely comfortable pair of slippers because I'm a middle-aged man I like wearing slippers and they are incredibly comfy but I've also got an incredibly comfortable pair of walking boots I've got a very very comfortable pair of running shoes now when I put those on whether it's my slippers or my walking boots or my running shoes they each each pair of, pair of shoes has a different sort of feel but they're incredibly comfortable and they feel really well suited to the task whether it's just lounging around at home or going out walking up in the hills or going for a run on a, on the well on the treadmill um, it feels comfortable because the the it's the because the shoes are suited to a particular purpose and so it is with a pick you might feel very comfortable gripping a, a you know one millimeter pick but that doesn't mean you can't feel comfortable in holding a, a three millimeter pick or a six and a half millimeter pick or a nine millimeter pick this is like three ply mirror finish glow in the dark standard that I make I love this pick it feels really comfortable it feels completely different to that three and a half millimeter pick that I started with but it it feels nice in the hand and as part of my picking experience my my the way that I interact with the guitar and it'll make me play slightly different uh, there might be certain styles I want to play I'll pick a, use a particular type of pick I've also got smaller picks like uh, like this one this is a relatively small pick you compare this to like a standard like 351 shape pick but that's so much more comfortable for like really tight precise controlled picking you know if I was wanting to play big strummy sort of chords I might go for something a bit bit bigger like this sort of shape you know there's not one like a one size fits all with picks which is why you see people collecting picks not just for the sake of collecting them but because you can pick up so no pun intended something and it will just make you want to play in a particular way you know I was doing some recording uh, a few weeks ago lots of really heavy rhythm sort of stuff so I was playing a nice big heavy pick it just felt right and it helped me kind of get into the get into the groove of what I was wanting to play and something like this this, so this is about nine nine and a bit millimeters it's a lovely playing experience I can still do with this what I was doing with the other pick but it's got its own kind of kind of feeling to it and because it's a bit thicker and you find this with with bigger picks you've got more more material there there's more energy to be transferred into the strings so it gets a bit louder it's, it's maybe it'll change the sound a little bit 
Oh yes, and difference in sound, that is very much a thing. Obviously with an acoustic guitar, everything makes a difference to the sound. There's a whole debate in guitars, in electric guitars, and I don't want to get into the tone wood debate, about how much factors other than the pickup change the sound of the guitar. The pick definitely does. Material, particularly the shape of the tip, in my experience, it's all about how, it, how it's transferring energy from your picking hand into the strings. It will have a, different, a difference in tone. Not as drastic as having different pickups, but certainly even on an electric guitar, your choice of pick can affect your guitar tone. And one factor that makes a big difference is the shape of the tip. This has got a relatively sharp tip, so all the energy is being concentrated on that one tiny little point gives it a particular sound. If you went for something that's got a more rounded tip, it will affect the sound in a different way. It'll sound a bit more, well, rounded, I guess, because the, the energy is a little bit more dissipated as it, as it hits the strings. There's all these factors with, it, with picks that affect how they sound. So there's possibly a pick for you. There's very likely a number of picks for you, depending on the style of, that you want to play in or the sort of mood that you're in. You don't have one set of gear, like one guitar, one pedal, one amp that you always use. I know some guitarists do that, but if you want a bit of variety in your playing, you've probably got two or three overdrive pedals, or sometimes you'll play with a bit of a subtle chorus. Other times you might want to put a little bit of reverb on the sound. And the, or you might say, I don't want to play with this SG that's got humbuckers. I want to play a strap that's got single coils, because that's going to suit what I'm doing. It's going to suit the sound that I want. It's going to suit the the way that I feel that like that guitar neck has a particular feel that make me play in a particular way. So it is with picks. The shape, size, thickness, material, the way it, it sits in the hand, the way it interacts with the strings, it affects the way that you play. So if you're used to playing, you know, picks, like just the bog standard, 351 shape, celluloid pick, loads of flex, loads of bend in it, that probably feels quite comfortable to you, but I guarantee if you play something a little bit thicker, I say this is a fat fish pick, I'm not necessarily telling you to buy my picks, it'd be great if you did, but there's plenty of other really, really good boutique pick makers out there. And I'm sure you will find a pick that feels much more comfortable um, than you expect, and it will change your playing experience. Somebody who's bought a number of picks from me, started playing on these three and a half millimeter picks, loved them and occasionally gets in touch with me and say, says, oh, I'd like to water some more. And I'm happy to do that. Now I sent them some picks recently and I said, look, just for, for the heck of it, I've got a few in the in the store. Uh, if you want to try them out, some six and a half millimeter ones and some, I think it was some nine and a half millimeter getting on 10 millimeter picks. Would you like to try those? Got a, a, a message from him. Uh, oh, the package has arrived, just let you know yeah, the, the, the pics have arrived safely in the post, which is always a, a comfort because it was going over to the States and I don't have a lot of luck with USPS. Uh, but he got the pics, sent me a message uh, and said, yeah, got the pics, these are, these are great. And then about an hour later, I got another message saying, I love the really, really thick, chunky pics. Didn't expect to like them as much as I do, but these are awesome. So I thought, wow, he's gone from playing something three and a half millimetre to playing something that's nine and a half, maybe 10 millimeter thick. And he just loved the way that they sat in his hand. And he was like, I can't believe in the space of like, I think it was like a year ago when I first sent him some picks to try, he's gone from playing millimeter thick guitar store countertop display picks to playing really, he's really comfortable with like nine and a half millimeter big thick Kirinite picks. And interestingly told me afterwards that when the package arrived, a friend of his was around was around the house. Was, he was kind of showing him these picks that he he just taken delivery of, and just yeah, you know, try this, you know, this this really really thick chunky pick. The guy tried it, never played anything anything vaguely like this before, and just instantly said, "I love this. You know, I've played this for thirty seconds, and please can I keep it? I just love the way it it feels." So you may be pleasantly surprised. You may look at some really big picks and think, "No, oh, that's not for me." But seriously. It will change your playing experience. It will inspire you to do things. It'll change your relationship with the guitar and I think it'll make you a better guitar player. So keep an open mind about shapes, sizes, materials, thicknesses, all the factors in picks. Get yourself onto Instagram, look at the, the makers who are making boutique picks. 
there, there's a whole load of them out there and you will see something I think which will inspire you and hopefully will start you into your personal journey on the Plex Reverse. I'm not tr intending this to be a sales pitch for Fat Fish Picks. I'd be delighted if you went to www.fatfish.co.uk slash picks, had a look at what the sort of stuff that I'm doing and then went over to the Etsy store and bought some or sent me a private message and make make a custom order. That would be great, but you don't have to buy from me. There's plenty of other guys out there doing really, really good stuff. Okay, so I hope you found that interesting. If you did, please click like down there. If you really enjoyed it and you want to see other things that I post onto the channel, then please click the subscribe button, which is also down there somewhere, and click the bell icon so you're notified when I upload new videos to the channel. Uh, you're welcome to leave a comment, but I don't always see comments that are left on videos. YouTube's a bit rubbish at notifying me when people leave comments. So if you've got something specific you want to ask me, whether it's about picks, guitars, guitar equipment in general, guitar playing, music theory, anything at all, you're better off going here, fill that form in, send your question in and that way I'm guaranteed, guaranteed to see it and then get around to answering your question in a future video. Okay, that's all for now. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.